Thank you, Brenda. I'd like to call up Jack Jackson, president of 18-1572 in Mississauga. Thank you. Good day, uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Today we're here to launch our campaign to keep transit public, but it's actually more than that. Today we're here to take transit back. We are tired of not having a voice while our politicians, they put rules forward that affect us. They affect the riders, the taxpayers, and the people who operate these systems. In Mississauga, we are looking at a $15.7 million reduction in bus operation costs. That will only come from jobs being lost, fares being increased, and service being cut. We are looking at the men and women who rely on these buses to take them to their, po their appointments their jobs, to take their kids to school. This is not supposed to be looked at as a profitable organization. Rather, it's supposed to be looked at as a public service. This is something that we need to demand. The people who are going to make these choices must know that there is going to be an impact. There is going to be an impact at the polls when they make these decisions. We will make sure that we stand loud, we stand proud, and we have our voices in numbers. If my local and these men and women behind us have to walk door to door to rally the votes, then we will do that. I am not standing here. I am not standing here as a prophet. I am not standing here telling you the world isn't flat, that it's actually round. I am telling you stuff that happened in the past. We're looking at things like the Up Express. We know private consortiums push forward. They push forward with initiatives that doesn't matter to the little people. Well, we're tired of it, and today we take it back. Today we make a difference and we vote, and we vote in numbers. If we don't, ladies and gentlemen, five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years from now, we'll be standing there wondering what happened. And you know what happened? It'll be one answer to that question, privatization. Thank you.